Welcome to Livestream Ninja. My name is Ulysses. This is episode 9. Today I would like to talk to you about live streaming with a hardware encoder. So there are several ways of live streaming. You can use a software encoder such as Warcast or OBS, um, but the, there's another option called uh, it's using a hardware encoder. So I have a generic hardware encoder that I bought uh, last year. It's just a small device and its sole purpose is to stream um, here we go hardware encoder um, so it has a LAN input so you could plug in um, Ethernet uh, cable or hardware cable as a HDMI input and a HDMI output for monitoring so if you want to watch your live stream you could plug it into your uh, TV or monitor and uh, so it has a hardware input also has a audio input uh, it takes a 3.5 millimeter uh, audio input and then there's a reset button in the back is just a power um, it's a, basically a 12 volts DC powered so this particular hardware encoder does quite a few things um, it has two streams main and secondary so you could send um, two different streams at two, two different resolutions uh, to two sources um, so that's the nice thing about this that you can have a high resolution stream going to for example uh, YouTube and then you'll have another one going to uh, Facebook all from the same device this is a nice little feature um, so this is a RTMP um, uh, hardware encoder so you should be able to publish to any hardware to any RTMP server such as uh, Wowza or uh, YouTube Live or Facebook Live that any any service or server that accepts a RTMP um, input this also is a RTSP um, uh, encoder so it's able to publish to uh, on, uh, like a Wowza that accepts um, an RTSP um, signal. Uh, RTSP signal, you could also watch it and monitor it from a VLC. In addition, uh, this will also work as a unicast server as well as a multicast server. And it will also serve uh, HLS and RTMP. So it will act, act Back as its own server so it's a nice little device uh, very generic you can buy this online um, anyway um, hope you like it and in the next uh, video I will show you the web interface of this particular uh, hardware encoder I want to show you now the hardware encoder uh, this is the web interface you do have a status page uh, tells you the IP address of the RTSP um, server and and this is the exact URL and you also have um, status for the video parameters what kind of resolution you're using the input frames per second encoding uh, as well as the audio uh, hardware status and then a the preview which uh, doesn't work at the moment it needs a plug-in so have that status page um, you also have um, a network uh, so this is where you set your network settings I have it set to DHCP but you can also hard set it to a static IP address using this um, uh, settings here IP net, net mass gateway DNS and then the MAC address so in addition, uh, you do have two uh, streams that you could, using this device, you could stream uh, two different streams. So the first one is HDMI main, and this is where you set your channel name, your bit rate, um, key interval, uh, resolution, the bit rate, fluctuate level, uh, what kind of profile whether it's baseline main or high level 
um, the encoding frame rate at uh, 30 frames per second and then what kind of packaging and then below that is your RTSB settings, unicast settings, and then multicast settings, and then eventually the RTMP settings. So that's the first channel. The second channel is uh, quite similar. And then in addition, you also have an extended area where you could set the audio. Now you could change your audio input uh, either use the embedded HDMI audio or the line in on the input on the hardware encoder. And then you could change the bit rate, whether you want it left, right, or either one. And then what kind of codec you want. Um, and then all the other controls here. Uh, in addition, you could also uh, add logos for both channels, main the main channel and then the second channel and then you can also change the color settings in the camera uh, by adjusting the brightness contrast hue, and saturation and then you could also change uh, images uh, if you want to add images into your stream and then uh, lastly you have the rtmp hls stream if you want to uh, stream using this device so it basically acts as a server uh, RTMP or HLS server. So it's quite nice and then you have your system setting where you could reboot it uh, based on number of hours, um, change password, uh, look at the version number and then upgrade the firmware. So anyway this is your just generic hardware encoder. Uh, hope you like it.